Welcome back to another episode of Uncle Ben's Alter Grill. Today we're going to be making fried onion strings, homemade. We're going to be um, putting them on a cheeseburger today, but you can use them on salads, different sandwiches. You can eat them as a snack. So they're right tasty. So stick around. We're going to show you how we do that. All right, guys, the first thing we want to do is uh, peel our onions and slice them thin. I like to take that first layer of the onion off and get all the way down to the good onion. When I'm slicing my onions, I like to give them a flat surface to sit on when I'm slicing them. So I'm just going to just take a little piece of that off like that. I'm going to stand my onion up and I'm going to slice it thin. That way your onion is not rolling around on you. Slice it as thin as you can get it. Now we're going to put our onions in a bowl and then we're going to add some milk to it and we're going to let it sit for about 30 minutes. So we're not making onion rings. So if they're broken apart like that, that's not a problem. That's kind of really what you want. And by us making that onion flat, most of them are going to break apart like that anyway. And then if you want, you can even slice them in half. Make them like halves like that. Next thing we're gonna do is gonna add our we're gonna add our whole milk to the onions and let them soak in there for about 30 minutes. You don't have to cover the onions completely up. But what you want to do is just kind of keep them mixed up in there, like so. This is going to take that pungent taste from the onion. Alright guys, now um, this little contraption here is called a batter bowl. It's in three sections. You got the top section, the middle section, and the bottom section. The top and the bottom is pretty much the same piece. But with that, we're going to add in our flour. That's one cup of flour. You got one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, and one teaspoon of granulated garlic. And then we're just gonna mix that all together. Okay, while our onions are hanging out in the milk, we're gonna go ahead on and get our oil ready for the um, to fry the onions in. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna have me a sip of this IPA beer. This is by Wicked Weed Brewery. They out of um, Asheville, North Carolina, and um, this is a kind of hoppy beer. It's about 7.5 percent. 
and alcohol. And I'm gonna just have me one of them while I'm hanging out. All right, guys, while um, onions are hanging out in the milk, I'm going to add a little salt, pepper, and garlic to it. That way, when we get ready to drain them, we're going to drain them. And this flavor should be in there. Oh, man. You can smell that garlic in there. I'm still working on that IPA right there. Freaking nature. All right, we're going to drain the milk off our onions and we're going to get them ready to go into our batter bowl and put the batter on them so they'll be ready for frying. Shake the excess milk off of our onion strings. And then we're going to put them in our batter bowl. It's just two small onions, so hopefully we can get them all in there at one time. So now that we got them in our batter bowl, let's take that, put it to the side. Just shake them up. Let's take a look at them and see what they look like. Like we ready for some hot oil. All right, everyone. We're getting ready to put our onion strings in the hot oil. We want our temperature to be between 350, 375. I like mine on the lower side because I like my batter a little more golden brown, and I like my onion to become a little more softer on the inside. All right, guys, I got my onion strings ready. I'm going to take them out and put them on a wire rack and let them drain. Look at that right there. I like to put them on a wire rack because if you just put them on a paper towel, they get soggy. So I got some hamburgers out there on the grill. We'll put a hamburger together and show you how, what I'm going to use these for. Stick around. All right, guys. Here's what we did with our onion strings. We made a cheeseburger with bacon, lettuce, pickles, and, of course, the onion strings that we made. This is what the finished product looked like. Wow, that looks amazing. You want a bite?